Hey what's up everybody, thank you for checking this video. If you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. But even if you don't, enjoy and happy coding! Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to my personal review of the Librem 13 by Pure Reason. Pure Reason is a US-based company that makes hardware and software for Linux. They're mostly famous for their Librem 5 Kickstarter campaign that reached almost $2.6 million or something like that. And the campaign was focused on the production of the first ever ethical freedom phone, the Librem 5. But we're not here to talk about Pure Reason or the Librem 5 or all the other products in general. If you want to learn a little bit more about Pure Reason, I suggest you to check the recent podcast episode that I published for the Nerd Continuity, where I had the pleasure of interviewing Todd Weaver, the CEO of Pure Reason, where we talk about ethics, human rights in the digital world, and many other interesting things about building a phone or building a hardware for a GNU Linux. Here we're going to focus on the review of the Librem 13, their laptop, and I share a bunch of pictures on social media recently on my Instagram account, on Twitter, on Mastodon, and I showed this thing and I asked to figure out what kind of laptop it was. Because as you can see, this is super stealthy. There's no brand on top or on the side of the laptop. In fact, the only type of brand and the only uh, name that gives away what type of laptop it is, it's at the bottom of the chassis and it's written, of course, Purism and then this is the Librem 13 version 2. This thing is amazing. I'm really happy about the direction where all these manufacturers are going uh, related to the production of laptops that can run Linux and they run Linux by default. We don't have a ton of ports but we have everything we need. So we have the usual headphone jack that is on the top left corner of this laptop, which I love. We have a regular USB and then the power connector. And then on the other side, we have another full USB port, full HDMI connector, USB type C, and then an SD card reader. As you can see, you don't have like an Ethernet port or a VGA port or any other extra ports that you could think of, like a display port. But this laptop is perfect in terms of port to cover pretty much everything you need. As soon as you open the laptop, the first thing that you notice are, well, there are a lot of things that you notice, but the three main things that came to my mind and it, I was really impressed the first time I opened this laptop were First, the trackpad. The trackpad, it's modern. It's just one solid piece, you don't have separated buttons. It's super clicky and responsive. It's a little bit more clicky at the bottom of the trackpad just because it's gonna be like kind of denatural. But the fact that the entire surface is clickable, it's amazing. I love the finishing, like the aluminum finishing that is not matte black, it creates a nice texture and a nice variation in color and it's beautiful it's really comfortable it's the right size it's not too big it's not too small and it's perfectly at the center of this laptop the other particular thing is that you notice these unique switches these are hardware switches attached at the hinge of the laptop these switches, they literally severe the electrical connection between your hardware and the motherboard. So if you want to have full privacy and full security, you don't want to have any external access via Wi-Fi, even if your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are disconnected via software, via DOS, someone could still externally access your laptop by tapping the antenna. With these hardware switches, you can literally forget about that issue. The other amazing thing that comes built in is the hardware switch for the camera and microphone. There's no way you will have someone spying on you. So long gone are the days where you have to put a band-aid or a piece of tape on top of your camera. And the third aspect that I noticed is that all the LED indicators are on the top right corner of this laptop. There's nothing on the side and the particular thing is that when your laptop is closed and you plug it in, your power connector, there's nothing indicating if the laptop is charging, is charged, is not charging. And this could be good and this could be bad, it depends on how you prefer it. At the beginning I was kind of like weird because usually uh, the uh, LED indicator for the battery is outside and if you're charging, if it's connected to uh, an electrical plug, you want to see immediately if the laptop is actually connected and is actually charging. But then I noticed something slightly different. I noticed that 
sometimes overnight I was watching a movie or uh, it was like in my room it was really, really dim light it wasn't like super bright and I connected the laptop to charge and then I closed it because I was watching a movie while this laptop was charging and I was able to keep the laptop close to me because it was completely black completely stealth so if you decide to leave the laptop hooked and plugged the entire night, you can go to bed and not constantly waking up overnight because that little LED is in the corner and it's pointing at your eye and it's driving you insane. I know it's a small detail, but someone really appreciate this, like myself. Another amazing aspect about this laptop is the keyboard. It's super quiet. You hardly hear your fingers tapping on these keys. These are super quiet, super smooth. It's the perfect traveling distance and it's really comfortable. I had almost zero learning curves to get used to this type of keyboard and the distribution and the spacing between keys, it's almost perfect. There aren't many negative aspects about this laptop and the few that I noticed are really marginal and minor that you can completely ignore, but for the sake of this review, I'm gonna list them. The first issue that I noticed, and I don't know if it's an issue related to my review unit or the role like that, is that there are these marks on the side, on the edge of the chassis when you open due to the rubber bands that uh, stop the screen uh, when, you, when you close the lid. Uh, probably this will happen normally and I think it's related also to the other issue that I want to highlight the fact that these uh, stealthy look it's I don't know it's matte black or it's kind of like translucent lucid but it's a fingerprint magnet and I don't usually have sticky fingers or like sweaty hands my actually my skin is really dry and my hands keep cracking all the time during winter but as soon as you touch it you leave marks and these marks they stay these are just really minor aesthetic things that don't affect at all the performance or the hardware but i wanted to highlight it because of course it's a review so i'm gonna talk about whatever I find interesting. The final weird aspect of this laptop is that it comes with one single slot of RAM. Of course, like every Purism laptop, you can open it and it's easily upgradable. You can swap the RAM, the SSD, all the other components inside. You can remove the entire motherboard outside the chassis. The fact is that coming with one single slot of RAM makes it slightly more expensive than the competition because of course if you want 16 gigs of RAM you cannot buy two uh, RAMs of 8 gigs each but you have to buy one single at 16 which makes it as I said more expensive. But I guess it's not a big deal and also uh, Todd Weaver, the CEO of Purism, told me that in the next version, the version 3 of the Libran 13, uh, will come with two slots of RAM. So it will be uh, more like easily upgradable and more in line with the competition. But that's it, there are no other issues or weird aspects or negative aspects of this laptop that I was able to find. Everything else is fantastic. What I'm super impressed about this laptop is the battery life. I was able to pull off eight hours of battery life by never plugging in, constantly having a screen open and working, having a terminal compiling in the background and having three or four different applications running. I don't know if it's the optimization done on the PureOS operating system or it's something related to the hardware, what they did, but I'm super impressed about the battery life. Something that the current Ultrabook or even like competitions in terms of GNU laptops, they offer four to five hours. This laptop can pull off almost eight hours of battery life without charging it once. And it's great. It's an amazing traveling companion and it's great for developers on the go. There's a whole ethical aspect behind the Libran 13 and all the products that Purism does related to the fact that they guarantee you that your hardware and your software will never spy on you. Everything that they make, all the parts that they uh, purchase from third-party manufacturers, all the things that they do in-house, they come with no malware, no backdoors, nothing. So you can be sure that you're running a pure, super ethical and freedom respecting device and software. And uh, the operating system that this laptop comes with, it's called PureOS, of course, because it's a pure system. Uh, but of course, it's just a regular GNU laptop. Like you can install whatever operating system you want on it. So this is pretty much all I have to say about the Libran 13. Once again, it's an amazing laptop that 
I really love looking at it. And I know it's like the aesthetic of the laptop, it's something that you shouldn't consider when you buy a new product, especially if you're a developer or someone that needs a reliable, a sturdy laptop to go around and work conferences or always like work remotely. But having a laptop that is light, thin, sturdy and looks as sexy as this one, it's really a plus. You should really consider checking Pew Reason. Once again, you should check the Pew Reason website where you can uh, see all the laptops and the hardware they offer and see all the configuration and the specification you can apply on this machine. Which finally, I'm so happy that in 2018, we are able, us as Linux developers or someone that doesn't want to buy and doesn't want to spend any more thousands of dollars on Apple products can be proud of showcasing our Linux laptop without looking like a 90s brick. It's amazing, it's fantastic, I'm super happy. Thank you, Reason, for this opportunity. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.